Before I start this review, I think I need to make an apology. Uh, it seems in my last couple of videos, I made a couple of your mom jokes that may have offended someone. Eyesores, that thigh gap right there, just like your mom's got. So for that, I'm very sorry. And going forward, uh, I will make sure to make as many of you guys happy as I possibly can. Just like your mom. It's Kato! And with that out of the way, today I'm going to take a look at Magic Square's MS B49 and 50. This is Spider Gear and Energy. It's their take on a Legend Scale Gears and Wind Charger. Really looking forward to getting these. Magic Square has been killing it with these releases lately. And I just, I love pretty much everything they're doing. You've got the artwork on the front there. Uh, wind charger on the side, gears on this side in alt mode. You've got some tech specs here on the back with some art there of both of them in their alt modes. Really, really looking forward to these. Uh, I've taken them out, messed with them a bit, which is what I normally do before I do a review. And uh, yeah, really excited for this. Let's see what's inside the box. Like always with Magic Square, you get a couple of trading cards. Here is the one for spider gear. And the stats on the back, it's, they're both credit card plastic. And this is Energy, a.k.a. Wind Charger. I'm probably just going to call them Wind Charger and Gears from now on. Uh, yeah, again, credit card plastic. Be very careful not to lose these. But here is uh, Wind Charger's weapon. Really simple gray plastic. Looks good. Here is Gears weapon. And it does fold up for alt mode. This will flip down and you can store that. Uh, in alt mode. I'll try to show that if I can. It's kind of a pain. Just blue plastic and it doesn't quite always want to sit flush. There you go. And like most things you get uh, something from that one episode and this is for gears. Just uh, I think it's can't tell if that's painted. I think it's just gray plastic but there could be some paint on that. And of course you get the instructions um, they're all right. Uh, they're better for wind charging than they are gears. The gears transformation, there's a lot going on in there. Uh, I'll try to go over that in the review, but they're okay. Now let's take a look at the figures. As you can tell, these guys are pretty small, and I don't do this enough, but I did want to show they are right at three inches tall. So they are some tiny bots. I think I, think I have most of their mini bots by now, and I'll show some of those in comparison. But yes, they are tiny. But man, do they look like they're uh, G1 cartoon counterparts. I'll pop some images up here on either side of the two just to show that they are pretty darn accurate to the animation models. Taking a look here at Energy or Wind Charger first, that head sculpt is pretty spot on. Blue eyes back there with a whitish silver gray type face. You've got gray all around. Little dark spot right there of gray, maybe black. Another dark spot there. Red plastic for the arms. Red plastic pretty much everywhere other than a bit of black paint here for what the louvers will be on alt mode. Uh, plastic wheels. You can see one solid pin there. Coming around to the back. Uh, not a lot of empty spaces. You can see the wheels that transform in here from the legs. One thing I will say in order to get them to stand up, you need to angle these little heel spurs just a bit. If you keep those flat, he's going to want to fall backwards. Tiny guy. But man, does he look great. Backpack is all right. It's a little floppy in places sometimes. Um, just when you're trying to mess around with it, if it comes untabbed back here, it'll be a little floppy. A lot of that we'll take a look at in alt mode. But man, it looks good. Uh, rotation on this ball joint. He can look up pretty far, which is always good for these small bots when they can look up like that. Um, not really looking down at all. Uh, rotation. Bicep rotation, uh, 90 degrees at the elbow, and you can spin the wrist. You've got uh, rotation. You've got a ab crunch there for transformation, but it works out well for playability. The legs, uh, let's see. Sometimes he'll get in his own way. I think the legs won't go out very f Oh, wait. Yeah, they will. Man, that's scary. You do have, oh, yeah, there you go. The legs will go out thanks to, uh, that doesn't want to lift up. There you go, straight out. Um, they will go back, man, it's really tight. They'll go forward, 
deep knee bend. You've got uh, ankle rocker there. I was trying to see, will they go back very far or do they get stopped? Uh, I don't want to push it, but yeah, it seems to go back far enough to play around with, but it's not like he'll do any uh, lun deep lunges. Yeah, I think he looks really, really good in his robot mode. Moving on to gears, again, looks spot on to his G1 cartoon reference. Got some white here going down the chest, spreading out there with some red inside. That white face with the blue eyes, big dumpy head. Uh, yeah, that is one. He always had like the weirdest head, didn't he? Blue plastic for the arms, black for the hands. They will come unplugged if you want to pop that little, uh, I don't know, what is that? Like an oil can accessory or oil? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, coming down to the legs, more red plastic, a little bit of blue back here. Backpack looks like it should. Uh, one thing that I do not like about this is the back of the head. So in transformation, uh, there's a bit that tabs into the center of the head here, but I'm not sure why Magic Square normally doesn't do this, but that is, that's really a lot of waffly bits back there. Don't like that at all. Uh, the rest of it cleans up pretty well other than the wheels sticking out of the back here, but fairly clean overall. Before I forget, I wanted to show that little gears here has a nice little gimmick where you can pop his chest open and see all the mechanical bits inside. Again, like that one episode. Articulation will rotate at that mushroom peg on the back of the head. Um, nothing up. You can kind of play around with this joint right here to give him a little bit, but that's up to you. Rotation, rotation at the bicep, uh, elbow bend. You can rotate at the wrist. Again, that just unplugs. Rotation at the waist, ab crunch right there. You've got out, up, a little back, uh, swivel, knee bend, and ankle rocker. For a quick size comparison, there they are beside some other Magic Square bots. You got Huffer, Bumblebee, and Cosmos. And there they are beside Magic Square's Optimus Prime. To get Wind Charger transformed, probably the biggest pain is getting this bit out of the way because it blocks a little transformation piece. First thing you want to do, rotate at the bicep 180 on both arms. Pick up back here, because what you want to do is give yourself enough room to get these little pieces untabbed and up. Uh, same with the other one. Just get it out of the way enough to get those pieces out there. Now there's a mushroom peg here. What you want to do is spin that around 180. You're going to fold this up here, back up towards his head, fold this up towards his head and tuck these in. Bring the top here out the hood. It'll slide itself back and you're going to tab. You can see those dovetails right there. Tab that in and there. What I find troubling is getting the hands up inside here. So what I do is get the hands tucked in and I kind of pivot that in and then get that in there like that. Just so you can close that up. So again, with this, get the hand up and let's see, the hand up there, rotate just a hair in so that that can tuck up in there and then tab it all in there and you'll have the front done. Go ahead and rotate the waist around 180. Come around to the back and open this here. Swing that out. Tuck in the heel spur and rotate this piece around. If you have Huffer, it'll seem kind of familiar. You'll rotate this piece around. You're going to do the same thing to this other leg. With both legs rotated around, you're going to slide it all up. Tab it in there. Slide this up. Tab that in there. Get these tabbed together. Close this up. And it's pretty self-explanatory from this point. Close this up. And close these. 
Huffer's transformation is a great deal more annoying. Uh, bend at the waist, you know, bend that all the way over there. Pop this all the way up so everything is extended all the way out. Rotate this 180, rotate this 180, open that and that. Get these hands up and out of the way for a second. Bring these up, fold these tabs out. Untab this whole section here. You'll bring this out, open these up to create the hood. Coming back to the arms, spin them 180 at the bicep. And the reason you want to do that, and it's hard to focus these small bots, so there's a small flap inside each one. You're going to press that to get that flap up and just like that and that. That'll allow you to bend the arms straight up this way and when you want to make sure that flap is good and straight so everything tabs in right where it has to go next what you want is the arms to be 90 degrees and go right up into this section here and slide in just right so that they are perfectly straight up and down and that's where getting these just right matters most Something like that. I had to take it off camera because, man, this thing is fiddly to work with. Bring this section out, close it up around his head, just like that. Tab that together and bring this hood straight down and let that all tab in there. Bring this down, tab that back to where it came. You can see the front of the car or truck starting to come together. Spin the waist 180. This hip skirt right here is going to come down flat and lay underneath. At this part of the calf, you're going to fold this down, fold the wheel out. Stretch, see that little joint right there? This is what the instructions don't do really well. Stretch that out there. Fold this around. Fold this toe in. Again, you're going to do this exact same thing to the other leg. Right here, you'll see the little slider here, and this is where it's very important to have the arms straight up. You're going to slide the hips in. This little bit right here, you're going to fold in. You're going to take this section right here, rotate it 180, fold it all the way around, and tab in right there. And you'll do the same thing to this other leg and make sure this is nice and flat. With both legs up here and tabbed into these nice little slots right there, the next thing you need to flip this out, flip this out. You're gonna rotate that in, tab those into those little dovetail joints there, probably my least favorite type of joint that Magic Square uses, and then slide that in there. You want to make sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be, nice and tight, because you need to fold that down and the other side down, tab those in nice and tight. And one thing I didn't do is you can uh, fold the gun up and tab it inside here. It's, it's kind of annoying to do, but there's two little slots inside there with these two little tabs on the side of the gun and it will sit poking out a little bit like that just this part coming out and with that you have them both in their alt mode i'll tell you the transformation on gears is not fun it's frustrating but it it's it's the reward's pretty great it does look fantastic in alt mode wind charger mm, a little simpler just a little frustration with the hands going up into the top of the cab but let's take a look at gears Look at this. I mean, it's about the size of the old G1 Minibot with way, way more engineering. You've got a bit of a metallic looking windshield. Everything seals up well. Uh, everything tabs together as it should. Love the back of the uh, tailgate here. You can see I went ahead and put the gun in the back just to show you that it can be done. Uh, it just tabs into two little tabs on the side there. Looks so good. 
in alt mode. Lots of nice little paint apps. Rolls just fine. Great little figure. Goofy head sticking out of the bottom, but what are you going to do about that? I guess, no, you can't spin the head around because the hood tabs into the back of it. Yeah, that's weird. I will say that more than once while messing with this, there's a little joint right here. If it pops up very far, it can pop his little face off uh, as though they were going to do multiple face options for it. But overall, I think he looks great. Uh, wind Charger looks amazing in all mode. These big fat tires here in the back, smaller tires up front. The front end looks fantastic. Again, a bit of a metallic paint there on the windshield, the louvers on the back. This looks like a place to put his weapon, but I'll be honest with you, I don't really see uh, a way to do it. So... I don't know that he has any kind of weapon storage in alt mode. If I'm wrong, please let me know uh, in the comments. He looks great. Uh, looks so much like the G1 toy and cartoon, really. So good. Uh, they are tiny. For a quick size comparison, there they are against the other Magic Square mini bots that I have. And alongside Magic Square's Optimus Prime in his alt mode. There you have my look at Magic Square's MSB 49 and 52 pack of Gears and Wind Charger. Uh, transformation is kind of frustrating, but I think it pays off pretty well. Only a few flaws. Uh, I, I'll be honest, if it weren't for the type of plastic the Magic Square used, the transformation may even be impossible because there's a lot of, a lot of flexing that needs to happen to get this done. Uh, but I think both modes look great. Um, I think they get the character's point across exceptionally well. Uh, don't like the lack of weapon stores for wind charger. At least I don't find any. Um, little accessory is cool. That little guy is cool. Again, it'd be nice to store that somewhere. If there is somewhere to do that, please let me know in the comments because I did not see it in the instructions and I couldn't figure it out for myself. So, I like it. Uh, they're both available for pre-order at most of your stores. Uh, you can get it at uh, Chosen Prime is still up for pre-order. I think magicsquare.com still has some available. Um, yeah, absolutely recommend them. They are a blast. Fun little figures. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Share this out there with your friends. Till next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.